Hi, welcome to Coffee at Exo. I'm David McLennan. I'm the owner here of Exo Espresso Bar. This video series, we're going to be interviewing entrepreneurs here in Miami. We're going to be asking them all the questions, the good, the bad, and everything in between. So if you want to learn a little bit about being an entrepreneur here in Miami, stick with us. If you have any comments or questions, leave it down below. Without further ado, let's get stuck in. Welcome to the third episode of Coffee at XO. Uh, today we have a very exciting guest. We have uh, Michael Oria from F Physicians Preferred CBD. Mate, it's a pleasure to have you here today. It's a pleasure to be here. Welcome to Coffee at XO. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna get stuck into some good questions, mate. Let's do it. I'm excited. Mate, uh, tell us a little bit about Physicians Preferred, mate. Absolutely, we're a completely vertically integrated CBD company or a yep. health and wellness company. Okay. Uh, we control everything from the growing to the extraction to the manufacturing of health and wellness products all containing CBD. Fantastic, mate. Well, Michael, for those of you who don't know, uh, he grew up in Miami. Yeah, he got raised. Cuban heritage, right? Cuban heritage, yeah. Which is awesome. So we're getting some real Miami here, which is, is fantastic. Tell us a little bit about what it's been like growing up in Miami and uh, some of your favorite things about Miami. Well, I've been here for 30 plus years. I've seen this city turn into a huge giant. You know, every day we see an evolution of food, culture, more big businesses coming in and really changing the city. It's, it's had a big influence on me. Aside from that, with my Cuban heritage, I come from a family that immigrated to the United States with nothing. So yeah. I've always had that influence of, you know, work for yourself, work hard and do the right thing. Absolutely. So that's kind of involved and turned me into who I am today. Good stuff, mate. Excellent. Well, uh, we met at the farmer's market, um, at Brickell Farmer's Market, probably uh, almost a year ago now, I think it probably was. Time flies. And uh, it does indeed. Uh, I remember the first time I met you, uh, we were there doing our stand, you were over the way and you came over and said hello. And you offered me some CBD. And I had never heard of CBD, didn't know anything about it. And I was like, look, mate, I don't know if I want to get high right now. I'm in the middle of a farmer's market here. Uh, and you said, don't worry, mate, there's, there's no THC in this. Try it out. We gave it a shot. And from there, we've had a, a great relationship, um, both business and, and away from business as well. But um, tell me a little bit about sort of what got you into the CBD industry. Yeah. So my family's always had uh, ties with the agricultural industry. My dad has a number of nurseries. Sure. Uh, he grows uh, all sorts of decorative plants and sod. So I always had that kind of botany background and a love for everything green. Uh, you know, take it to the next level. I also have a lot of interest in biology. That's what I studied in, you know, university. And it was another huge passion. I wanted to see how I can incorporate the two. Yeah. Uh, I started with medical marijuana. That was what was, you know, the introduction into the cannabis world. We had California, we had Colorado. Uh, we saw the movement evolve. And what happened around 2014, 2015, we saw the winner of the cannabis you know, revolution, which is the cannabis CBD. It was the most medicinal. It was something that was not psychotropic. And we found that it helped a lot of people. Me personally, I have autoimmune disease. When I was first introduced to CBD back in 2014, I, I saw an immediate change in uh, the way I felt, uh, the way certain allergies were not affecting me as they were. And, uh, you know, that first year of taking CBD, it, it basically changed uh, my medical routine. I used to have to go to the hospital several times a year because of uh, contamination from allergens and things like that that would really put me into a bad state. CBD has completely stopped that. I haven't actually gone to the hospital in over three and a half years because of CBD. Wow, that's awesome, mate. Yeah. Now, obviously us, we do coffee. We incorporate CBD. So what we're gonna do now, let's order a couple of drinks. Awesome. And then why don't we have you, I know you're gonna have a shot of CBD now. Of course. I'm gonna have some later on. Uh, we're gonna try a new product, which is gonna be really cool. But Mira, um, what would you like, mate? We're in Miami and uh, I am a Cuban, so a little cafe con Ca leche. Cafe con leche, okay, perfect. Very One sweet. cafe con leche, I'm gonna join in on that. I'm actually gonna do a curadito with oat milk. So kind of a, let's call it a, a new age uh, Cuban <laughs> coffee there. All right, thanks Mira. Cheers. So the coffee's gonna come, uh, and then we're gonna basically be, what are we gonna do with this? How are we gonna incorporate the CBD? Tell me all about it. So we're gonna use a molecular distillated CBD extract with an MCT coconut oil. The MCT coconut oil is actually gonna help the bioavailability of the CBD as well as the caffeine. And that relationship caffeine is also helping the CBD get into your body. So it's gonna allow us to be hyper-focused, yeah. 
you know, it's going to be the cafecito with a little bit of calm. Yeah, no, it's 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 a great. I mean, a lot of people they're they're wanting that caffeine in the morning, right, or, or during the day, but they don't necessarily want to be overwhelmed with too much caffeine. This is a great way, right, to have that drink and kind of like Take let the it, edge it off. slowly seep it, seep into the system. Um, we have a lot of people have it in cold brews, a great one, for example, and it's super caffeinated. Yeah. Kind of helps sort of release that that caffeine. Um, and tell us a little bit about what, what are the products you got here today, mate. Yeah, so we actually have a variation of concentrations all the way from uh, 250 to 10,000, depending on uh, what you'd be taking it for. We have the 250 to 500 that fall into the everyday wellness category. Yeah. Our extra strength would be for you know chronic anxieties, pains, uh, the advanced strength, which really steps it up to you know more serious injuries, accidents, uh, autoimmune in my case. Mm -hmm. And then the 10,000 is, you know, for very severe cases, cancer-related symptoms, right. et cetera. Right. And, and, and tell us a little bit about, like, we, when we administer it, we put a tincture, which right. is um, the full vial in there. Um, we, we love using this product in this format. Um, I think that there's two different types of customer or consumer, ones that don't want to taste it and they want it sort of in a, in a drink, which we have that option as well. But then I find a lot of customers, they actually enjoy seeing that tincture, which we're about to do, go into the drink. They feel like, you know what, I'm actually really getting something here and they want to see it. They want to want to see that. Um, what's your experience with that thing? It's the ritual, absolutely. You, I mean, it's you, you administer it at the time of the brewing of the coffee. It's not going to have uh, as much decarboxylation from sitting in the coffee with, with extra heat. Uh, and it's going to taste really well. You have the natural terpenes from the plant adding to the flavor of the coffee. As I previously mentioned, the MCT helping the bioavailability. So it's a little happy family. And whenever, I, if I have to concentrate on anything, read a legal document, anything that takes uh, a large amount of time, I'm taking my CBD and my coffee in my yeah. cup. Well, on that point, we got a long interview here, so let's, let's, let's do it, let's it. put some in, all right? So you got your cafe con leche. Awesome, this looks Thank beautiful. you very much, Mira. My beautiful favorite coffee. Beautiful latte art, very good. So, the average dose is going to be one ml, right. and we're doing it from the 250 milligram tincture. So we're talking right. about eight and a half milligrams. Okay. Lovely. And this is what I notice a lot of people like seeing the consumer, and I personally do as well. I love seeing the product go in, and I actually really like the taste of it. So it doesn't doesn't phase me one bit. But uh, awesome, mate. So and then do you like to give that a bit of a stir in as well? I personally don't. I I like to leave it. So when I do experience it, it's kind of a very strong yeah. flavor. Yeah, you, want to, you want to feel that. Yeah. Well, cheers, mate. Cheers. Excellent. All right. So, you know, we've talked a little bit about what got you mm. in, into CBD. So good. It's good, isn't it? So good. And um, now I want to talk a little bit about, I mean, it's an industry that's uh, reasonably new. When I, I met you a year ago, I hadn't even heard of it. And, and there's a, one thing I've noticed, there's a lot of misconceptions out there. Um, tell me a little bit about what some of those misconceptions are. Well, first, first and foremost, the number one question we get asked is, will this get me high? <laughs> the answer is no. This is not a psychotropic compound. CBD is mostly an anti-inflammatory. It's a neuroprotectant. Uh, causes apoptosis and damaged cells in your body. Uh, helps create neurogenesis in the brain, regrowing damaged brain cells, protects the neuron pathways between the brain cells. Uh, it's, it's very healthy for you, and people are really having a hard time getting around the marijuana, yeah. reefer madness, Sigma. yeah. So we have decades and decades of propaganda against this, this wonderful plant. So, you know, it's, it was an uphill battle, but you're seeing uh, the snowball effect happening faster and faster every day, and you're having sure. more more people understanding what it is. It's becoming, I guess, more mainstream. Absolutely. Isn't it? it's, it's definitely getting more out there, and people are realizing that there's a lot of benefits uh, to the plant and that it's uh, well worth us doing the time, taking the time to investigate it and not being closed-minded. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. I mean, I'll put it to you this way. Every cell in your body essentially has a receptor for this specific molecule. I think Mother Nature knows better than us. I agree. I agree. It's very well put, mate. Very well put. Now, with those misconceptions, um, I guess you, you, you encounter it and we've encountered it. Um, I think probably more you because you're dealing with the industry itself. Um, how are some of the ways that you've overcome some of those or overcoming those uh, misconceptions? Well, as you see in our, in our product line, we don't have any, first of all, marijuana leaves on anything because that is the first red flag for a lot of people. We want to make something that's used 
you know, that can be used by anybody. Little Jimmy with ADD or my 95 year old grandma. Yep. You know, it's, it's about breaking down those barriers and letting them experience something that they otherwise wouldn't have. Yeah. And if you're adding, you know, images that relate to this negative, it's only gonna suppress that even more. And I think, you know, that's a great point. One of the ways we deal uh, with the misconceptions is obviously through the information that you give us and explaining that to people and saying, look, it's this, it's, it's not necessarily this. Uh, one of the big things that we like to do is we also, uh, we mention to people, we are not doctors, okay, we're, we're baristas. Um, we don't force it on anyone, so if you want to try it, it's up to you. Um, but we do encourage people to go away and do their investigative work and, and, and read the information that you give or someone else gives in the industry and actually read up on it and learn about it. Um, because there's a lot of information out there. There's somewhere. so much anecdotal data out there. You have people that have done some pretty incredible things with cannabinoids in general. Um, and you know, you, you have some of the bigger companies, pharma kind of still kind of pushing back on that, fighting research, but every day we get more done. And every day we have new research. PubMed.gov has published uh, plenty of articles on the health benefits of cannabinoids and it's only gonna get better. And let me tell you something, you know, People love this. I mean, people that use it, I have so many regulars that come back for it. I have a guy that drives, I don't know, from down South Miami, and he'll drive all the way up to get it because he loves your product, the product that we sell. And so people, you know, it's an industry where you have to know what you're looking for, right? Because there is some products out there that aren't as good as others. Um, how do you kind of, uh, the regulation of that, tell us a little bit about how the industry is regulated and how you look for good quality product. So. I mean, when we first started, there was no regulation, and this is back in 2014. So we aim to have the highest quality product and to make it affordable. We have three tenets, affordability, transparency, quality. So how do we achieve that? Uh, vertically integrated. We're able to control the price points. There's no room for error, uh, so it controls the price. By the same token, we're able to control quality. Uh, make sure that the ground that we're growing in doesn't have any contaminants. Make sure that we're not using pesticides. Extract in a manner that removes any you know, impurities, lipids, fats, waxes, chlorophylls, and we use molecular distillation. And then we put into the highest quality carrier, which is MCT coconut oil. So it's always been about quality, 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 and breaking down that price point to make it more available to the masses. Make sure that every single person that wants it has the opportunity to try it and not have to you know, pay a car payment's worth every month to try to have some semblance of well-being, right? Exactly, I mean, we, we, we try to do, I mean, we try to do what you do, we try to transfer it on at the best price we can as well for quality product, right? Uh, and so that people can afford it and we just price it just like we would a, a latte or anything else in terms of the market and that makes it affordable to people and I think that's really important um, and, and making sure that it's good quality is super important. It makes well. all the difference. When you're taking something for medical reasons, you can't, you know, you can't take a CBD that you really don't know what's in there because there's been people already who've got in trouble for this, putting things that are not CBD, uh, having very unclean CBD. These plants are bioaccumulators. Anything that's in the soil, lead, molybdenum, uh, you know, arsenic, it's gonna pull it up into a store. So let me ask you a question. The consumer out there, they're going and they wanna buy it, right? Let's say they're not in Miami, they're watching this somewhere else. What would be some of the things that they would look for to know that they're getting a quality product? Uh, first and foremost, look for a company that does, you know, extraction properly. So, you know, molecular distillate, or if they wanna go the isolate route, that's a great option too. Try not to do anything that's winterized. It's only going to be about 30% pure, etc. Uh, a way to verify this and to verify the purity it would be to actually look at the test results. So make sure the company does third-party testing uh, with reputable labs, Proverde, SC Labs, Botanicor. Uh, these are some of the bigger labs out there that have been you know, in the industry for a while and have established a good reputation with their machines. Another question for you. So where's it grown? Like yeah, we grow in uh, Colorado, um, down in the Great Plains. We're away from any mountains that otherwise would have uh, heavy metal runoff. We're above 5,000 feet in altitude, so you get great sun up there. And, you know, we grow it in all organic composted soil that we make from dried lake beds. So basically high humic, high fulvic dinosaur remains. Yeah, wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, uh... That's great. We talked a little bit about what got you into it, the regulations. Um... Now let's talk a little bit about, like, let's sort of get away from the CBD just for a minute and say the, the business in general, like, um, apart from the challenges of dealing with misconceptions, what are some of the other challenges in business that you've come doing a small business? Well, small business, you always face your challenges, you know, starting a new brand, gaining trust, 
you know, education is key in that for us. Um, so we're out there every week, we're educating, we're working with doctors, we're teaching doctors. Uh, so that has really helped us on the small business side. But being that we're from CBD, we've experienced a lot of issues with uh, payment processing to websites that don't want to deal with us. We have Instagram that won't allow us to promote our images. Yeah. Although you'll see some of these larger companies promoting CBD products. So it's, they don't have a set criteria and they're kind of being uh, almost wishy-washy with who they're approving and who they're not approving. So yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a very gray, there's a lot of gray areas there that need to be cleared up, right? Yeah, as far as uh, marketing and, and those standpoints and paid advertisements, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, pay, uh, website builders like Shopify that won't allow you to use CBD. So, you know, you have your, your battles on both sides of it, but being that it's CBD has made it exponentially harder. But that makes it well worth it. We're here to get it to the right people. We're here to, you know, exactly. fight through and actually come with a quality product that people can afford. And, you know, despite everything, it's, it's been worth it. Every day I'll get emails, I'll get text messages from people telling me how much it's changed their life. And that's what it's about. It is, it's, it's pretty cool. Like I never expected um, doing a coffee business. You know, I always get obviously the people coming, I love the coffee, blah, blah, blah. But I never expected to have people come back and say, Hey, I really need that. That stuff really helped. And so it's kind of cool. Like I never thought that I would be incorporating that into my business. So it is, it's a nice thing to have people come back and say, yeah, it really helped me with that. I'm like, that's cool. And it's natural, which is fantastic. Right. You know, I think anything in the, uh, in the medical industry where we can turn to a more natural uh, method to help that really works, which this does, I think it's, it's a, really good, a really good option. Um, now tell me a little bit about the future of the CBD industry in Miami uh, in the next, say, let's say five years. In the, in the first, I mean, in the next five years, I expect it to continue growing how it's been. Um, we see now CBD in, in uh, all sorts of products, uh, juices, yes. uh, foods, coffees, and I think that's only gonna get more and more uh, involved with everything we eat. It's gonna become a staple in our diets, essentially. It's funny you were saying that. I was talking to someone yesterday who's a chef, and he's like, I'm gonna think I'm doing like uh, my sauces with CBD. I was like, so people are really like going all out there, you know, trying to incorporate it into some meals and all sorts of stuff, which is pretty exciting. Uh, and it's interesting the way people are thinking and trying to, tr trying to bring it in. Which brings me to something that I wanna try in a minute. You've got a new product. We do. Which um, we are gonna, we're gonna give it a shot, right? Very excited to debut actually on your show. All right, let's, let's do it. After we try that, we're gonna do some quick shot questions, all right? Awesome, I'm excited. You ready for that? I am. All right, brother. <laughs> awesome, bro, let's do it. Now I'm ready. Now let's let's double hit it with another one. So uh, here we are. We're going to do the the quick shot questions. But before we do that, we're going to try a new product that you got here. Tell us a little bit about it, Matt. Yeah. Uh, so talking about the farmers market, it was another local vendor, 305 squeezed. Oh, 305. Yeah, I know them. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, all fresh squeezed oranges, and in this case with tangerine, and we're now doing a ready to drink uh, fresh squeezed oranges. That's HPP, so no pasteurization, as fresh as the day is squeezed. Awesome. Man. Uh, 25 milligrams of CBD infused. Perfect. Well, let's let's get some of that in this cup here, because you know what, I'm gonna try it out. Yeah. Let's pour a little bit there. Thank you. And let's give it a little taste test. All right. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Well, that's really good. I love this stuff. That is really good. Yeah. Start my mornings now every day with this. I remember their orange juice now. Tasting that. It's been a while since I've had it, but that is really good. Florida oranges for you. Yeah. yeah it is, it's got a sweetness. Yeah. It's the right time of year. It is. All right. Very good. So that's that. New product. Love it. Awesome. Now we're going to do the quick shots. Hit me. And I should have had my phone ready with the questions. <laughs> so let me just pull it up. And here we go, mate. Are you ready? I am. You sure? Yes, let's do this. You've had your CBD, your focus. My CBD, I'm focused. Let me uh, get a little Good. swig there. Get in the zone. Get in the zone. Okay. Here All we right, go. I'm zen. All right. All right. 
Favorite childhood place to go in Miami? Uh, the Seaquarium. Before I knew all about the bad stuff. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Favorite museum in Miami? Uh, I had to say the Frost now. That's cool. That's a very cool yeah. museum. Absolutely. Um, okay. Iced tea or iced latte? It's a tough one. I have to go with iced latte. Ah, okay, interesting. Salsa or merengue? Uh, my Cuban grandparents are going to hate me, but neither. Neither! Ooh, <laughs> not a dancer. <laughs> not, not a dancer. Not a dancer. <laughs> no worries, mate. All right. Coral Gables or Design District? Well, I live in Coral Gables, so, so gonna I'm going to have to stick with down. that. Yeah. Well done, well done. Wine or weed? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> next, next. All right. Dolphins or Marlins? Uh, I'm not the biggest sports fan, unfortunately. <laughs> so neither. <laughs> neither. All right, good, good. Strangest thing you've eaten in Miami? Um, alligator. Alligator. <laughs> yeah. I haven't tried it yet. I've had crocodile in Australia. I haven't tried the alligator. I have to give it a go. Um, dumbest thing someone has asked you about CBD? They asked me when the hallucinations will start. <laughs> hey, that was, was that me? No. <laughs> All right. Um, mohawk or mullet? Uh, I'm a punk at heart, so mohawk. mohawk. <laughs> nice. Pink Floyd or Queen? Oof. Uh, if you're asking me to choose between like two children here, I know. I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling this might be a tough one for you. That's a tough. I, I can I say both? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You absolutely can. You know, have to choose one. All right. Nitro or regular cold? Probably the nitro. Nitro? Yeah. Okay. You like that the creamy sort of smooth. Gets texture? you going, yeah. It's... All right. Very good, you mate. You actually well, introduced me to that stuff. You got I me did, right at the yeah. markets. Well, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. <laughs> Pleasure's all I, mine. I think you've really helped uh, clear up some of the misconceptions with CBD. Also talk a little bit about it. And uh, we'll talk again soon, mate. Awesome. Thank Cheers. you for having me. Thank you, mate. Cheers.